Hello everybody, Mandy here. This is Heavenly Bath Treats. Today I am super excited about the video I'm doing and the soap I'm making. This is part of a collab with Shannon from Moody Girl Soaps. Um, I will link her channel and her shop and her video that matches my video in the description below. We have decided to challenge each other to make a Valentine soap. So, I am going to do a little bit of a twist on that theme and make a Galentine's Day soap. I'm going to call it something like celebrate being single or celebrate singleness. And I will talk more about that theme when I have more time, like when we're soaping. So, the scent I'm using today is called Midnight Romance by Nature's Garden. <laughs> It is a really sultry, sensual, um, flowery musk. It's really yummy and romantic. Um, I'm going to do, I'll show you the colors when I get to them. We're going to do my lower, wider mold because we're going to do some icing on the top. And I've got some embeds to go on the top. Um, this is a non-vegan soap because I have um, Tussa Silk in my water in my lye water and I have some buttermilk powder in here in the oils along with the kaolin clay and some colloidal oatmeal. So um, it's kind of interesting this um, fragrance oil says that it discolors to purple and I've never worked with a, um, a fragrance oil that discolors to purple. So, well that'll be interesting and it does say that it slightly accelerates so I um, have extra water in this batch a lower lye concentration. Um, so let's get started. I decided to do the heat transfer method again where I make my lye and then I put my hot lye into my solid oils or my butters. All right, I'll probably fast forward through this part. There's still a little bit of cocoa butter in there, but I am going to stick blend this. So I think it'll be okay. My oils have my additives in it, so I think I will stick blend it before I add it to the rest of the batch. And look what I got myself for Christmas. I got myself a new stick blender. I really needed one here. Um, and I found this one on Amazon. I thought it was really pretty. It feels very powerful. I don't need a whole lot of stick blending. I'll have to be careful. All right. Let's set this aside. All right. So I'm going to add my liquid oils to the rest of my batch. This part looks pretty thick. I hope this thins it down a little bit. For the drop swirl that I want to do, I was hoping it would be very liquidy. I'm looking for those drips that look kind of like, well, drips, like rainwater dripping down. Um, so we'll see if I can see if I can pull that off today. Okay, I'm gonna scrape this and mix this up a little bit with the stick blender before we add the fragrance oil and the color. I have gotten um, unrefined shea butter and cocoa butter, and I keep finding little bits of things. I think next time for sure, I won't buy unrefined. In my mind, unrefined would have more natural, um, you know, the gooder, gooder, better qualities um, that they wouldn't have been processed out. But I really don't want dirt and such in my butters. I 
I'm really scared to over to over blend. So I'm going to hand stir it a little bit. Now I'm going to split it off into three accent colors. And I'm not going to put fragrance oil in the accent colors because it discolors to purple. And I don't want them to be purple. I'm going to reuse this that had the oils in it. And then this that had the lye in it. Okay. Let's see, should we start with the main color first? Set these off to the side. My main color is going to be a deep, rich, purpley pink. Um, these are my micas here mixed in some almond oil. And I used, I think it's Knee High Grape from Mad Mica. And I mixed it in with Flirt, which is a pink from Mad Mica. And I want this to be super rich, super dark. So I am going to put all of this in here. In fact, we're gonna get this. I'm going to wait to put in my fragrance oil until I get the other colors mixed up. All right. Oh, <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't not make a mess. And <laughs> I'm going to be using some charcoal, which is always messy to use. One of my, I want one of my colors to be a really deep purple, like an eggplant. So, we are going to go in big with the charcoal. Yeah, it may seem like it's a little too much, but... All right, and then the purple. We'll see what that does. We might use more of that. And then one of my colors is going to be this a bright, I wanted a really bright, light blue turquoise color. So I have this, this Blue Tide from Mad Mica. The purple in here was the Knee High Grape. I want all of that I can get. Now I want it really bright. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to add any titanium dioxide to this. I think I might a little bit. Because I want it to be a contrast to the other color. be stick blended for that to lighten up and then in this one is that on the inside uh. <laughs> so in this one I want it to be a bright white okay. so I've got titanium dioxide in that one we'll mix it up um, and I think now that I'm looking at this I want this to be a little bit darker I'm gonna add a touch of Touch of charcoal and see what happens. So let's go from lightest to darkest and give it a blend. Ah, it's perfect. 
perfect. There we go. It's getting deep. Oh, that's so pretty. This eggplanty color. I want it to be almost black. Yeah, that's pretty black. <laughs> um, add a little bit more purple. All right, it does, it is basically black with a purple tinge. It's this will work. It may lighten up a little bit after it cures. And they're still staying nice and liquidy, so that's good too. Okay. Okay. And yep, that one's still staying nice and liquidy. Now, I don't think, I put the stick blender in here to blend in the fragrance oil, but I don't think I'll do that. To smell it again. Mm, it smells so good. So I have this dark color. If it tries to discolor to the purple, it's no big deal. It probably just enhance the look. Um, maybe ricing a little bit. I don't know if it's my <coughs> excuse me, my recipe that likes to rice or what. We're gonna have to blend that out. you see that? You know, I meant to save some of that for the icing at the top, but oh well. I don't normally put fragrance in the icing and the frosting, so. Can you, I just, I didn't know if you could see the chunks. Yeah, that's not good. Hopefully it will be a little forgiving and let me stick blend it without getting too thick. So my thought behind this, that's getting thick. I knew it would when I blended it and it's still a little chunky, but you know what? It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> I'm gonna put my whole dark purpley color in. And I'm hoping it's not too thick to do the drop swirl, but you know what, we'll roll with it, we'll roll with it. That's what soaping is all about. Going with the flow. It's a shame. Oh, it smells so good. It is a shame that it um, rice like that. But here we go, trying to get them drippies. It's cutting through a little bit. Maybe if I go like way up here. Ah, <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised when I make a mess. And then the white. the rest of this blue. The colors are pretty. The 
dark purple. And the rest of the white. <laughs> I'm going to scrape out these containers and we'll go from there. And my top won't be seen, but just for fun, I'm going to do a little twirl. These colors are pretty. Okay. All right, I'm going to clean up a little bit, let this firm up, and we'll mix up the icing. For the top, I wanted a nice eggplant purple. I have never used a dark icing before, so this is exciting. I think it looks really neat when you have black or dark frosting on the top. So while I do this, I wanted to discuss the theme of my soap. I called it Celebrating Singleness or Celebrate Singles. Because when I was um, a teenager and a preteen, I thought something was wrong with me if I didn't have a boyfriend. And I don't, I didn't want my children to feel that way. Like if I didn't have a boyfriend, which I didn't most of the time, I felt incomplete. I felt like something was wrong with me. And as I got older and more mature, I realized of course that there's nothing wrong with being single. But being a single can be an awesome period of your life. And I wanted to teach that to my children. I want my girl, I have two girls, they're teenagers, and I want them to realize you don't have to feel inferior because you're the only one in your class that doesn't have a boyfriend. You don't get married at the age of 20. It is okay. Now, I'm not anti-man. I want that to be clear. If he, God has blessed you with a wonderful man who treats you right, then you are truly blessed and you should be thankful for that as well. So for all you single ladies out there, enjoy it. <laughs> and don't feel like, you know, like you need to, to actively be looking for a guy. You are wonderful the way you are. And we can still have fun at Valentine's Day. This is, uh, my batter is still a little thin, but my icing is getting pretty thick, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. It may go down into it a little bit, but maybe that'll be interesting. <laughs> this is just a round tip. I actually probably could use a little bit bigger of a round tip. We'll work with it. Kind of like that. Little swirls. So 
So you guys can tell me in the comments, have you ever had a, va a Galentine's Day where you go out with your girlfriends and you just, you know, you celebrate, you celebrate you guys, you celebrate your friends and that you guys are single and you're having a good time. I have not, but I think it's a good idea. disappointed with my icing job there. Usually I'm a lot neater than that. But I like the color. So these are the embeds that I have. The hearts in different shapes of uh, blue, lighter blue, and white. Kind of go with the drops inside. So I'm going to be, you know what, I'm going to take off my gloves. <laughs> I will be super careful. Okay. So I thought maybe the white hearts could go on the top. And I have the marking for each of the bars here on the side to kind of guide me. So it's, when I'm filming this, it is December 21st, I believe. Um, I w my kids were at their dad's, so I was wrapping their Christmas gifts, and there were two gifts that I could not find. And I do this every year. I like I don't know what my problem is. I mean, I hide them to where where I think I can find them, but every year, I like last year I still haven't found the electric blanket that I bought my oldest daughter. It's in this house somewhere. I may find it someday, but I had I ended up buying her another one. So these are really cute. <laughs> you can see it kind of squishing out where it was still liquidy, but that's okay. All right. Um, the soap that I made before this one and filmed, but I haven't. I'll put it up after this one. Um, accelerated so quickly. It riced. It accelerated. It turned weird colors. Ugh. It gave me a run for my money. So even though I was very sloppy on the icing, this one has been a much calmer soap. Maybe. It's really hard to get those all lined up. Okay, and then I thought maybe on the sides we would do the lighter blue. Maybe by the time I get these hearts in, you won't notice the bad icing. <laughs> I should put some uh, glitter on there or not. It seems like it needs something. Let me think. To do a purpley pink mica drizzle on the top. I'm gonna try not to get on the hearts, but let's see. I might regret this. <laughs> oh, I got it on the hearts. It's on the hearts. Am I regretting this? Am I regretting it? It's no turning back.
I did it again. I didn't wait until the next day to unmold and cut my um, Valentine's soap. This is the Celebrate Singleness, my collab with Moody Girl Soaps. Let's cut it open and see what we think. I'd like to thank Shannon again for inviting me to do a collaboration. So exciting. Oh, look at there. We're going to see if we can see that in the camera. Yep. So you can see the dark eggplant color, the lighter color. It looks like, I don't know if that's discoloration from the fragrance oil or if the center of it gelled. And for some reason, there's a, some, some weird like orange color in my white. And it didn't do the drops exactly like I wanted, but it looks pretty cool. I love the color combination. I'm smelling it. It's not very strong. Maybe as it cures, the smell will come back out. Once again, thank you, Shannon, and look in the description box for her links.